Hey guys, so um, today's look is sort of like a bronzy, um, goldish kind of look. I'm basically just using, um, very quickly doing um, a bronze smoky eye with, um, it's a really fast and easy look, just a couple of brown colours and, and I basically just show you a bit more about my, how I do the rest of my face, like the uh, blusher and lipstick and um, eyebrows. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So um, I've basically just uh, used some loose powder under my eye and I'm going to start off with my usual Makeup Forever um, Aqua Shadow Pencil. So this right. one just goes under my eyebrow and it's amazing because it just stays put the whole day. You don't need to touch this up whatsoever. It's waterproof and smudge proof. So it stays put. Okay, so apply that to my brow bone. And then I'm going to go for my eyeshadow base, which is my favorite, the NARS um, eyeshadow primer. If you're in Singapore, um, NARS will be finally launching again at Tang's and Orchard. Uh, next month, November. So stay tuned for that. So I'm going to start off first with my crease and I've got a bunch of neutral colors here. This one is just uh, my MTZ palette that I filled in with my own eyeshadow. So I've got like MAC, Stila, um, Inglot, just a bunch of stuff thrown together. So I don't really label my eyeshadows so I don't know the names. But what I'm going to start off first with is um, this warm brown color. You just want to use anything that's nice in chocolatey brown, a little bit warm. And I'm going to go for my Real Techniques crease brush. I'm going to go into okay. my crease here. I'm just going to go for a um, fluffy brush. Where is my fluffy brush? Okay, and just buff this out a little bit and then I'm going to just clean that Real Techniques brush it doesn't have to be totally clean and I'm going to go for a lighter brown that one there right here. and I'm just blending up the crease now for my eyeshadow color of choice for the eyelid is this absolutely stunning stiller color it is so pretty, you can see it here. Yeah, it is really pretty color. It's like a, I would say a deep gold kind of color. Almost like a dirty gold sort of a shade, but um, lovely color. I use it on a lot of my brides because it's a very pretty color on any skin tone. And I got it at Sephora here in Singapore, so you can check it out at Sephora. I'm just going to use a big flat brush. And I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. So it's not really um, super outstanding because you're mixing a bunch of browns but um, it really just pulls together the whole look because it's got a bit of shimmer and a bit of matte in it. So it's really great for a night out. Going back to my crease brush and just blending everything together. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to line my eyes and if you notice the line is a bit of a smudgy line, it's not totally like a crisp line. I'm going to just use a pencil liner. This is my favorite, the um, Essence Long Lasting Pencil Liner. And mine's almost finishing, but I managed to stock up. Stock up. I managed to stock up a little bit. Uh, you can get it at Watson's at the NCT and I'm not sure where else, but I get mine from the NCT. So I'm just doing a relatively basic eyeliner. I'm not doing it too thick. Just because we're gonna smudge it out. So just a regular eyeliner, just like that, nothing too thick. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna go for this is the Sigma Short Shader E20 brush. Okay, just a very stiff short brush like that. And I'm just gonna smudge out that black line. So <clears throat> I basically just did a very smudge out liner and then I'm going to just highlight my brow bone a little bit, make it a bit more, um, emphasize it a little bit more. So I'm just going to go for a flat brush. This one is the Body Shop 
eyeshadow brush. Okay, it's just a regular flat brush. And I'm just going to play around with my highlight colors, nothing in particular, just mixing around till I get something that I like. I'm going to do my brows. So for my brows, I'm using, like I mentioned in my other videos, the Makeup Forever Eyebrow Corrector. This is the best thing ever that I love using for my eyebrows. It comes in a little pouch with tiny spoolie and a small brush. So I'm going to just fill in my brows and I'm going to just take the tiniest amount just like that. So you know a small tube goes a long way. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just slowly start filling in my eyebrows. You can see the difference. I prefer my eyebrows to be a lot more defined and a lot more thicker and darker. So you can compare this has got nothing on and this one has got um, the eyebrow corrector already on. So I'm just going to follow the shape of my eyebrows but just making it a bit more defined, that's all. So for my um, lashes, using three items, I always use at least two items just because um, the first one has to be my mascara base which is something I cannot do without. Okay, And um, my mascara base is the Shiseido Nourishing, um, what is that? <laughs> Nourishing Mascara Base. So that's what I use. Um, once I've curled my lashes, I just put a nice generous coat of the base all over my lashes and how this works is I find it really helps the curls to be the curl of the eyelashes to just stay in place the whole day. So I'm gonna start off first with my Halida Rubenstein. You can get Halida Rubenstein at um uh, okay in Singapore you can only get it at this uh, what do you call that place? DFS the one um Opposite Fais Plaza. So that's where I get mine from and I love Halina Rubenstein mascaras. They are just amazing. This one is the Lash Queen Fatal Black. So it looks like that. It's got sort of like a reptile skin to it. And then to give it a bit more lengthening, I'm going to go for my YSL um, volume effect. Okay, I'm gonna just use this. Um, a lot more thicker and longer whenever I layer different mascara. So it's just something that I prefer to do. You don't have to do it. This is just what I prefer to do. So um, okay, so long thick lashes. All right, and then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna do. Um, you can see the white pencil liner inside and then the dark color below. So using my pencil liner, I'm going to just line my lash line. And then I'm going to go for a flat brush like that. And I'm starting off with um, a dark brown, which is this brown here. You can use any brown, it doesn't really matter. Just going over that. Just to set the pencil and just smudge out that. And then I'm going to go for a really small crease brush like that. Okay, um, I don't know where this one's from, it's got no label to it. And then I'm going to go for that nice warm brown, which is this one here. And I'm just going to buff out the black, I mean the dark brown. And then I'm going to go for my white eye pencil. This one is the NYX um, Pure White. Okay, hold on. Alright. Next pure white. So um, I'm actually going to contour first, and I'm going to contour using my Physicians Formula. Um, I mentioned I showed this to you guys in my um, my Perth haul video. I got this from Perth. And it's got the blusher. I'm oh, sorry, the high, the contour, and then the highlighter there. And then behind you've got a mirror as well as a brush. So I'm just going to use my um, this is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. Okay, and I'm going to go for that nice chocolatey warm color just because I want the whole look to be um, a nice uh, warm um, <laughs> golden bronze kind of a look. Then I'm going to 
apply my blusher. This one is the Models Prefer. Also, I got it from Perth. It's Dusk to Date or Desk to Date. Right, very nice peachy, pinky sort of color. And I'm just gonna take that. For the highlighter, I'm gonna just go for this brush that comes with the Physicians Formula highlighter set, and I'm gonna go for the gold, just the gold, just to brighten up the complexion a little bit. You can put some down the nose if you want, and then finally, I'm gonna to top it off with my Elizabeth Arden um, Rose Illumination. Your finish highlighter. So this is an amazing highlighter. I love this like crazy. I love it, love it, love it. Just to add a bit of glow. And then for the lips, um, I'm actually going to do um, sort of like a nudish sort of lip, and I'm going to use a new lip uh, lipstick first. And this one is Cover Girls um, Lip Perfection in Delish. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. It is a nice nude lip color. So, like I said, because I want the whole overall look to be a very um, uh, bronzy, golden kind of look, I'm gonna actually mix with this Star Looks lipstick. Okay. And this one is Citron. And it's a very nice metallic orange sort of shade. So I'm just going to take that and go over my nude lipstick. Very um, peachy sort of lip colour. Not too in your face orange, a little bit more toned down. So that's the look. Um, if you want you can always just do without the lip. You can just go with your own lip colour but that is the look for the... Um, bronzy sort of smoky. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.